And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. This is the Milan starting eleven. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And this is how it looks for Inter. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. Able to skip past his man. Textbook defending inside the box. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. Brahim. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Martinez. Oh, big chance. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Playing it in. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Kea. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And they have possession again. Dzeko. Not a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Options in the middle. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Milan get the game restarted. Can they come up with a coherent answer? Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Sea. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Hernandez. Leao. 
Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Lukaku. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they keep it going? A glorious chance. And a goal! Cause for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And what a clinical finish this is from Lataro. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Charadonu on to Martinez. Can he finish this? Martinez! Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. And time for the change now. Not messing around with that clearance. Chananolu trying his luck from long range. And the keeper had the measure of that one. Calabria. Rade Krunic. Well, visionary passing. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, two one it is here. Martinez moving forward effectively wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up Chalhanolu Davide Calabria Salamakers and that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. It's still alive. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Really nice ball. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. So a personnel change then. Delivering it. And the keeper left us in no doubt that that was always going to be his ball. Sandro Tonali. And Sanabakos has it. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. He's lost it. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. It's a perfect challenge. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. And fired against the crossbar. Well, no damage done. The final whistle and job done for Inter. They hold the lead going into the second leg.